Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathLog, and this uh, lesson is the number of equal groups, okay? And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. So let's go ahead and get started here. So our common core strand is there, and our essential question is how can we model uh, division problems to find out how many equal groups we will need, okay? So um, uh, before, we have learned uh, to divide, uh, uh, to find the number in each group. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to uh, to divide to find the number of equal groups. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, we're going to use groups of hats here. and You can hear my fire. i got my fire in my fireplace uh, snap crackling and popping in the background. So it's, uh, it's a cold December night here where I am. So here's an example. Darla has 12 hats and some boxes. She wants to put her hats in groups of three. So how many boxes uh, does she need for her hats. Okay, she's going to put them in groups of three. So let's underline what we need to find. Okay, we need to find out how many boxes does she need for her hats right there. And how many hats does Darla want in each group? Well, she wants um, them in groups of three. So she wants uh, three hats in each group. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and make equal groups. All right, so uh, look at the 12 counters over here. So here's 12 counters, counters over here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to circle a group of three counters. Okay, so there's one group. There goes my fire, big pop. So um, uh, so that would be one box right there with her three hats. She wants to put three hats in each box right there. So we're going to continue to do this, you guys, circling groups of three until all the 12 counters are counted. So there's another group of three right there. There's another group of three right there. There's another group of three right there. So it looks like we have... One, two, three, four groups of three right there. So uh, there are four, or uh, I'm sorry, I put four up there. This should be, there are four groups of counters in here. That's a four right there. So Darla's going to need four boxes for her hats, okay? She's going to need, because um, uh, she's putting three in each box right there. So I got a little mixed up. So there's, this would be a box, this would be a box, this would be a box, this would be a box. So this would be four boxes for her 12 hats and she wants to put them in groups of three. Okay, how would um, how would the drawing change if Darla wanted to put her hats in groups of four? Okay, well we would have uh, circled three groups of four over there so she would only need three boxes if she did four of them and you can circle any groups of four that you want. I just chose those ones right there. So, um, But if we if she wanted to put four hats in a, in a box uh, then she'd only need three boxes then, okay? So you'd be circling groups of four instead of groups of three. Okay, let's try another one here, you guys. Hector has 15 hats. He wants to put his uh, uh, his hats in, in groups of five in a box, okay? So he wants to put each group of five hats in a box. So how many boxes will he need for his hats? Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to draw 15 counters. Okay, there's 15 counters there. And then we're going to go ahead and... Um, make a group of five counters by circling around them and then continue to circle around uh, five until all 15 are counted, okay? So there's one group of five right there. And then just, just keep circling groups of five right there. There's another group of five right there. And then finally, there's the last group of five, okay? So how many boxes will Hector need for his 15 hats right there if he puts five in each hat? Well, there's, there's three of them circled right there, so he's going to need uh, three boxes for his hats right there. Okay? Uh, what if uh, Hector puts his 15 hats in groups of three? How many boxes would he need then? Well, you take that same 15 counters right there, and you just start circling groups of three. So if you circled groups of three, we'd have one, two, three, four, five. So Hector would need five boxes for his hats. Okay? That's all in the, there is in this lesson. I hope that makes sense and take care everybody.